Alright, welcome to another edition of Boxing I Got it. So, um, I want to make this video because, uh, so we, uh, I made a video a couple days ago about, uh, Clarissa Shields and, you know, what I thought about her and the whole situation, um, I, that I felt that, you know, that her team was causing her money and which that's exactly what happened. She lost the fight. Now they got to probably reschedule. That's if. Um, old girl wants to even fight her because she over here talking about um, she talking about that she fears for her life so if the fight happens don't be surprised if it does happen but it doesn't happen in, in uh, Flint Michigan anymore they might take that fight somewhere else just because of all this drama and controversy so I don't know where 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 these this fight's gonna end up. I don't know if it's gonna actually officially get made. But the real reason why I wanted to make this video is because I've been I've been you know I've been over the weekend I've been watching all these different videos you know different uh, YouTubers you know that 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 I like that I watch and you know and and I don't get it you know there's the few who who are kind of like I'm um, you know kind of have the same point of view that I have that um. That that was very unprofessional on uh, Car uh, Carissa Shields' uh, uh, team's part. You know, I'm putting hands on uh, on an older man like that. Um, but I get I'm, I got all these people coming out. You know, defending Carissa Shields. You know, um, and like I said, she ain't really got nothing to do with it because she's not the one who put hands on him. But it's her team. She should know who she been bringing there and all this. But what I want to get at is. People defending, you know, talking about that the seventy-one-year-old man uh, was talking shit, and he put hands on Clarissa and on um, past conferences, and also he uh, he was talking shit, um, calling her a bitch, um, tell, tell, uh, offering the other one to slap somebody. Okay, I, I get that. And I also, you know, I'm 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 from the hood. I grew up in the projects. I grew up, you know, I grew up also in Puerto Rico, and and you know, I know that. I I personally know that if you talk shit, you gotta back it up. But that's in the streets. You know what I'm saying? That's that's how we handle business in the streets. This is a professional level. You know what I'm saying? These guys out here trying talking about, oh well, he shouldn't have been talking shit. But he's promoting the fight. He's trying to get people to come out, cause drama, cause, you know, tension. But there ain't no need to get physical. Y'all could have just talked shit back, called him an old motherfucker, um, told, told him that, his, you know, his breath stinks. I don't know. Talk some shit. Use your words. You know what I'm saying? Use your fucking words. But don't sit there and try to defend the team for putting hands on an old man like that. That's not cool. He was, yes. He Was he out of pocket for talking shit? Yes, he was. But at the same time, you got to look at it. This is boxing. They're trying to promote the fight. Let me ask you this. Let me ask all y'all this. How come nobody put their hands on uh, um, on Danny Garcia's dad when he called Keith Thurman a nigga? You know, it was a big show. You know, everybody was really upset. But did anybody put hands on him? No. Why? Because they know it's all about the promotion. Keith Thurman was laughing about the shit. Because it's part of the promo. Part of the promo. You know what I'm saying? Another clear example is like the Mayweather and McGregor fight. How much shit they talk to each other. But if you notice, one thing. McGregor never touched Mayweather. And Mayweather... Never touch from uh McGregor. That respect. Ain't no need to. It's not even about respect. It's just like nigga. It's about the money. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the money, y'all. You lost, like, over this nonsense. And now, your reputation is also now affected by this. So, was it worth it? I don't think so. And the people who are out there defending her, dude, that's not defendable. Yes, the man was talking shit. But like I said, this is a 
boxing event is promotion. They're promoting an event. That's how many times haven't we seen shit? Shit, we seen Tyson Fury dress up as Batman. We seen uh, other motherfuckers flipping over tables. You know, shit gets wild, man. But ain't no reason to hit anybody. Ain't no reason to get physical. But at the same time, I want to get at uh, Showtime. I want to get at um, the security in the building. Come on, man. If you guys saw that commotion, you guys saw how heated everybody was. Why didn't you have a security guard by each person? Making sure that they stayed away from each other. That, that, that there was not going to be no retaliation or nothing. You know, all these fingers are, I, I, you know, at the same time, all these, all, you know, all the fingers are pointed at Shields. But some of these fingers also need to be pointed at Showtime. And, uh, and, 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 uh, and the building, too, the security building. The, whoever does security for that building. They need to be holding responsible because they they saw the altercation. They should have done something about it. They should have separated them, kept them apart. Had one person, one security guard, you know, apply for each person. So make sure that they stay apart, stay away from each other. But they didn't do that, did they? And we saw what happened. So, you know, like I said, man, this is not a good look for boxing. It's not a good look for Carissa at all. She's going to lose money. Her team's going to lose money. And we just lost on a great fight. Hopefully it can get rescheduled, but if it doesn't, we we as fans are the ones asked out of a good fight. So that's all I got for you guys. Have a good day. Peace. Love it.